Okay, hopefully we're back for real this time. If not, then I'm just gonna give up the stream here and try it again later. Uh, in any case, uh, Kurt's basically saying, Ash, you know you're a miner, right? You can't gamble. Uh, what? Those are the rules. You can enter, though. Uh, no way! So, if that's the race course, then what's that white building over there? That's the Villa Soleil. It's a pool and public onsen. And there's a historical salon that's well-loved by the citizens. Oh, that sounds amazing! I understand the feeling, but we don't really have time now. Let's look forward to the Solstice Festival instead. Oh, fine. Huh, what a stingy guy. Did you forget that we're in the middle of special training here? I don't think we'd get much useful intel there anyway. Right, let's just keep backing up the guild and the intelligence division. Alright, let's head inside the race course. <laughs> sounds good. And once our training's complete, you and I can go into the Villa Soleil together. And that is enough of that. Muse is as forward as ever. Oh god. So, let's, uh... Let's check in the booth here. And Ash just wants to, like, Hey, I want to bet on these horses. Nope. Too bad, buddy. But we can buy a gift here. So we're gonna do that. These are the Gallop Gloves, and they're a gift for Usus. We could also buy the Jockey Mishi if we so chose, but I don't really care. Let's head to the race course here. Our required request was inside the race course, right? Once we meet the person who placed the request, we won't be able. We won't be able to just leave. Is there anything else we need to take care of first? Yeah, Necro. I'm. Uh, I've been having some internet issues lately, so I might drop in and out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't persist. Otherwise, I might have to call it quits early. But I think I should be back now. Right, if there's anything we have to do, let's make sure we do it, and then come back. Are we ready to go? After entering the race course, be aware that the first day's activities will no longer be accessible. Oh, we're all set. Yeah, let's go! <sighs> this blows. Going to a racetrack, not being able to bet? Ash, don't be a sore loser. Alright, let's go already. After going inside, they explained that they were here for the request. However... <laughs> well, it could possibly be your phone, but more than likely it's my problems on my end. Wow! Three to two! How close! But what a good race. I need to bet on the next one. Oh, this is so exciting. And it seems like a really friendly atmosphere, even though everyone's gambling. Yes, it's a tasteful activity for nobles, and even the royal family to spectate. They're all very careful to keep good manners there as well. Oh, well, isn't that cute? But all the workers seem really busy now that there's a race on. The guests have just taken their seats. Please wait here until the, ne until the next race ends, if you don't mind. Our timing was a bit off. Understood. We'll wait here for now. Please, accept my apologies. I will let you know as soon as there's a moment. But I'll talk to you then. So, what should we do now?
Boo. Well, the main race is coming soon, so I don't think we have time to go outside. Should we just wait here then? How about we find some seats and watch? Uh, sucks to watch a race without buying a ticket first, though. Are you sure we can't? There is more than one way to buy a ticket, after all. Huh? Oh, right! The instructor can buy tickets! <laughs> Forgot about that. Are you asking me to buy you betting tickets? Should we really be gambling in the middle of our training? Oh, come on. You're a little interested, aren't you, Kurt? <laughs> in a sense, this is part of our training. Betting does require you to use prior knowledge and to predict unforeseen circumstances, after all. I'm kind of interested myself. Alright, fine. I'll buy you a ticket. But I just graduated this spring myself. I've never bet on a horse race before. So, I won't get your hopes up. <laughs> we won't. Just one ticket? Man, that sucks. Oh, whatever. Let's just see how good the instructor is. I think you have a good eye for horses, Instructor. Since we're doing this, make sure you pick a good one. Alright, sounds like a challenge. Okay, let's take a look at the odds for the main race. Number 1, Lumber Blitz, 1.2. Number 2, Black Prince, 1.4. Number 3, Kaiser Dice, 2.7. Number 4, Land Arrester. 3.1 Number 5 Rhino Bloom 10.0 huh, So the lower the multiplier, the higher the interest. Let me gather some information from the audience before I go to the betting booth. So we need to talk to a few guys. Let's see what, uh, let's see what they have to say. So let's talk to... Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Okay, this is, uh, Latin. Oh, there he comes! Lumber Blitz! He's really good. The fastest in a straight line. When he made his debut last year, he was ballistic and won the Solstice Festival Prize. He's the top candidate this year, too. Let's bet it all on Lumber Blitz. Lumber Blitz. That's the number one horse. I see. He is very muscular. You can almost feel his power. I understand why he's the favorite. Alright, let's talk to this rich guy here. Uh, this is... This is Danbor. Ah. Black Prince is really good at making a gap before the next one. And when he's in a good position, no one can pass him. Plus, he seems to be on his game today. Huh. He'll be number one for sure. So that's number two, Black Prince. He does look like a good horse. I'm sure he has good odds. He's the second best in terms of odds. <laughs> Alright. There's a few more people we need to talk to. Let's talk to this uh, man with his daughter. My favorite horse is number four, Land Arrester. Uh, the only reason for that is my daughter's a fan. But that's because Land Arrester's so cute. He's from the countryside, but he's a very clever horse. <laughs> and even the rider's from the same village as the horse, so I like the local loyalty. So that's number four, Land Arrester. The rider's from the same village? I can feel their bond from here. Because of that, he might be pretty strong. Alrighty then. Let's talk to these two guys next. Oh, right. What about those two horses that are in the stable? They haven't been out to walk in a while. Would you guys mind riding my horse around a bit? Uh, sure, if you insist. Now you can ride the horse Nins from the horse riding club. You can ride the horse on the road. 
Anyway, we need to talk to him again. Our horse riding club is made up of professional jockeys. And Kaiser Dice is our strong favorite this year, which Nins is riding. He's great. He'll definitely do well. I'll be watching him closely as his coach. Kaiser Dice, the number three horse. He seems calm, even though the race is starting soon. That must be his personality. I wonder if he lacks ambition, though. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for you, Necro. I'm I'm not very good at uh, betting horse races myself. Anyway, the betting station's there, but we've got one more guy to talk to. If he'll let me. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this one isn't translated, which is strange because he's someone you, you can talk to. Anyway, this is Lombard here. And I don't know what he has to say about the fifth horse. But I like his gumption. It takes a lot of... St it takes a lot of talent to wear a straw hat like that with a weird mustache. So you know what? I'm going to bet on the long odds. Give me Rhino Bloom. I've, I've got a feeling. Got a feeling about this horse. Hello. The main race is starting soon. If you'd like to place a bet, you'd better do so soon. Well, this is my first time doing it, so I'm just testing it out. In that case, just pick the horse you think has the best chance of winning. One ticket's 100 Mira. Which horse would you like? Okay, which horse should I pick? Anyway, we want to pick Rhino Bloom here. Alright, here's the ticket. Good luck. Got the betting ticket. Spent 100 Mira. Hey, what the hell, man? You hoping for an upset? Well, I'm not too confident, but I did do a little investigating. Well, this is just a first test, but it would be nice if we hit. Oh, I hope we get something. The main race for today will be starting momentarily. Anyone who wishes to watch the race, please take your seats. Looks like it's starting soon. <laughs> Let's find a good place to sit. The horses are all lined up for the race. Today's main race. Number one, Lumber Blitz. Number two, Black Prince. It's three days until the Solstice Prize. What kind of race will we have for our featured race today? And they're off. The leader is Lumber Blitz. Land Rester is close behind. Black Prince and Kaiser Dice are looking good. Rhino Bloom is also off. What will the results be? Around the first corner, Lumber Blitz is leading. Close on his tail is the Black Prince. Land Rester and Kaiser Dice bringing up the rear. All right, they're on the last stretch. Well, so far, so good. I wonder who will win. Unfortunately, the one the instructor picked isn't looking good. <laughs> well, I guess at this rate... Oh! No way! Oh, take a look at this! Rhino Bloom pulled ahead! Kaiser Dice and Land Arrest are in pursuit! Black Prince and Lumber Blitz are pulling up too! Now it's Rhino Bloom and Lumber Blitz! I'm sorry, I was running a bit too fast. Can he do it? Can he pull off the upset? Oh! And who is the winner? It's Rhino Bloom! The old soldier who's retiring actually did it! Uh, 
number one? He won? All right, go Rhino Bloom. I never thought he'd do it. Is that an upset? Wait, instructor, didn't you bet on number five? Y yeah. The multiplier is ten times, so we won a thousand Mira. Uh, why the hell did you only buy one ticket? <laughs> we could have made a killing. Hey, it was just a test. This is how gambling is. Aw, oh, excuses, excuses. Well, the race itself was interesting, so that's not a bad result. That's true. It was a good way to kill some time. Oh, it's you guys. Well, this is surprising to see you guys betting on horse races during the middle of a field study. Scarecrow. Major Lecter, so you were here too? You really get around, don't you? Well, this was something related to work. But a 5-1-2 result? What an interesting finish. Maybe I should have bet a little more. Wait, did you actually guess the top three? So you picked the top three winners? That must get you a lot of money. Huh, this is the same as usual for Lecter. Is your work concerning those spies? Do you even need to ask? I never thought it'd be this difficult to catch on to them. They seem to be using a trump card that we couldn't even imagine. A trump card? You're always hinting at something deeper, aren't you? <laughs> Is that not information we have access to? Well, if it turns out to be true, I'll let you guys know. Alright, I can't mess around too much or the director will get pissed. Major Arundel. Oh. I'm sure the intelligence division has plenty of theories about them, right? For example, what's their goal? Is it destruction? Information gathering, perhaps? Oh. Hmm. Originally, we thought it was 50-50 between those two possibilities. That hasn't changed much yet. Although, maybe it's more like 3 to 7 now. Oh? But which one is which? The order that Muse said it was. Hey guys, this is confidential. Give me a break for now. If anything does happen, I'll get in touch with your training ground. I'll see you later. Keep on doing your best. What a pain in the ass. He sounds like he's enjoying himself. Or maybe he's not. Did you pick up on anything, Yuse? <laughs> no, no, I was just wondering. So, destruction versus information gathering. We would definitely need to change our approach depending on the answer to that. Yes, it would be good to keep in mind. <laughs> they really have grown. Well, putting the major aside for now, we should find the requester soon. I have to go pick up the winnings. I'll get you guys some drinks. Oh, really? Yeah, get me a bottle of juice then. I appreciate it. Damn, we should have bought more tickets. <laughs> I know I could definitely use some luck. I always hate when you have to use RNG and RPGs to like get the best thing. It just feels unfair, and you're just wasting time. I apologize for the wait. The manager is in the guest room. It's at the end of the left wing. Please head there now. Understood. The end of the left wing. Let's get going, then. It's a request from the racetrack. What could it be? 
And we got an extra AP for doing that right. Which is good, because I missed all the... I missed some of the important spots. I bet this old man's flipping his lid here. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going, but uh, I'm sure I'll find it eventually. That's not it. Okay, there we go. Doesn't have anything really useful for us. So let's talk to Manager Carlton here. Oh, you're the Class 7 Special Section? It's good of you to come. I'm the one who submitted the request. I apologize for making you wait. Uh, no, we got to see a great race. <laughs> that upset was splendid. It was very interesting. Although, if I was able to bet myself, it would have been even better. Hey, Manager, you think you can make an exception to the betting for minors rule for me? <laughs> Just please enjoy the race. And once you become an adult, the staff will be waiting to sell you tickets. <sighs> Seriously. So, would you mind filling us in on the details of the request? Of course. Please, take a seat. And so, Reen and the gang heard about the request from the manager. There's something underneath the racetrack? Yes, the staff have been reporting a creepy-sounding roar coming from underneath the racetrack. After inspection, it seems like there's a monster down there. It's very different from the monsters that usually appear out in the roads and such. Yes, but why would there be monsters under the racetrack in the first place? Well, actually, there's a big spread-out area underneath the capital. It's not a modern facility like the Geofront, though. Oh, the famous sequence of tunnels from the Middle Ages. Apparently it's so vast, even the Intelligence Divisions haven't mapped it yet. Whoa, really? So, those tunnels go under the race course as well, then. Yeah, normally it's not too dangerous to enter that area, but... The last time someone went down there to check on it, there wasn't any sign of it. Some of the staff have been quite concerned by this, so I contacted the government office. Understood. Please, leave this to us. Guys, how about we go check out the underground area? Of course! Anytime. Hmm, you're all are very reliable. Well then, you'll need this. Receive the underground road key. Go straight back down that corridor, and there's a door on the right-hand side leading to the basement. It's a very vast area, so please be very careful. Understood. Let's go find the basement door. Request from the Imperial Race Course started. Alright. That sounds like a good excuse to save. And also a good excuse to put Reen back in my party. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I haven't been able to play most of the newer Atelier games. The last one I ended up playing was actually, uh, Tutori. Which is... When did that release? Like, 2010? It's been a while. This must be the place. Wow, so there's really a place left over from the Middle Ages here. That was how the capital was years ago. Alright then. Let's go on in. Oh, uh, what's that? That's a different ringtone than the usual one. Yo, Reen! Do you have a second? Yeah, I do. Hey, wait a second. 
Was that Milium? That means... Yeah, like we said before. So everyone said it's fine. The plan's to meet at the guild at Vester Street at 7pm. I see, so that's the plan. Got it. I might be a little late getting there, but I'll definitely be there. Sounds good. I have a few more things to do myself. Do your best, Dachon. Class 7. Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, the mission request is the priority right now. Be very careful on the mission to find the monster. Understood. <laughs> well then, let's do our best so the instructor can make his date tonight. Ah, <laughs> it's like you're leaving your mistress's house to make it home for your wife. I see. That's an interesting analogy. Guys, don't tease him too much. Let's leave it at that. Well, thank you so much for your consideration. <laughs> I do love how Class 7 is always taking the piss out of Reen. <laughs> so, Necro, who's your favorite Class 7 character? What a gloomy place. I can hear water flowing. There must be a waterway nearby. The manager was right. This place is huge. Well, it does extend throughout the capital after all. And this is way different from the city streets. I sense a strong monster's presence. It's already 2.40. This will likely be our last activity of the day. Let's be careful and move out. Yes, sir! <laughs> That's fair. I mean, not counting green. My favorite class 7 character is Fee. But I don't think either of the uh, rabbits are a bad choice. I see you're a man of culture as well. <laughs> but yeah, there's lots of great characters in the in this game. area now that I'm down here. Alright, I want to head this way first. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. I think just in terms of amount of good characters, it probably exceeds most of the other games that have come out recently, that's for sure.
Good old dungeon areas. And <laughs> the treasure chest here is a copy of the black records. We're gonna have to go and call Rosine about that later. What the hell is that? Huh? Oh, Yuna stole my line. What the hell is that? Oh, give me a break. It's just another monster. It feels more like a demon or a hostile spirit. Right. That means the three higher elements are at work here. Yeah. I had this feeling two years ago in the palace. We should be even more on guard. Let's move carefully and watch out for abnormal phenomena. Yes, sir! Yeah, the funny story is I actually received Valkyria Chronicles 4 for my, uh, for Christmas. So I was like, yeah, that's cool. It's a bit of a shame I won't be able to play it anytime soon. But... <laughs> it's all good in the hood. Jeez, I really need to invest in getting, like, Ash in the very front of my party formation, because he cannot... He cannot move very far at all. I didn't want to target that one. Yeah, I I really like the first Xenoblade Chronicles, but uh, I couldn't get into the second one at all. Or X, for that matter. Maybe it's just because uh, I have way more nostalgic memories about, uh, for Xenoblade. But, you know, I felt like it was very, uh, classy taste on a JRPG. There was lots of, uh... It did the Gnosticism stuff that, uh, the Xeno games tend to love. It probably did the best out of all of them. It wasn't just, like the main character sitting in a chair for the entire second disc, or, uh, whatever the heck Xeno Saga was supposed to be. Oh, I didn't realize I, like, triggered the entire dungeon to come after me at once here. Well, it's not that hard. You just have to remember to do some side quests every now and then. I mean, if you do that, it's a cakewalk. It just makes sure not to do too many side quests or, like, the challenge of the game is completely gone. Of course, I think I had an easier time of it because I used Melia as my main. And she's kind of just the best character in the game if you know how to use her. Uh, right. I'm trying to figure out which direction I have to go. That one's the path forward, so I'll head there later. Sad. This treasure chest is a brave seed. Which, uh, might help for later. Might not. We'll see. Oh, I didn't mean to draw that guy's aggro. And here is the Albion Wolf R Quartz. <laughs> nice. 
Maybe I'll give uh, Labyrinth of Refrain a try. I mean, when I have time, of course. Which won't be anytime soon. But, uh... Maybe by, uh... April? May? I'm just gonna ignore these guys. Wow, it just keeps going. Where in the world are we, really? Yeah, you can get end up in all sorts of places. There's no signal on our Arcus either. Oh, really? We are still technically in the city, though. The signal coverage range really doesn't go underground. It's rather unnerving that we can't contact anyone. If only we had a repeater, we could get communications down here. That'd be tough, though. We had a similar situation two years ago in Ruhr. We had George supporting us back then, and he got a signal coverage. You aren't thinking of going back, are you, Instructor? No. As you guys are now, we're fine going forward. But the monster in that request sounds tough. We need to be careful. Roger that. Alrighty then. Well, I guess we're finding this thing. Ash, please, you gotta get closer. Figure out where the heck I'm going with this place. I'm gonna head down this path first. Inside this treasure chest is a hairstyle from Muse. So I'll give that a try when we're not being chased by demons. Oh, it's uh off purple. Never played a Kiba beat. Oh, I actually like this hairstyle for Muse. Anyway, let's flip the switch here. does. Maybe I should use her in my party to show it off a little more. She's probably doing more for me than Ash is at this point. Alrighty then. So lost right now. Okay, I want to use this switch first. That switch will get me over the treasure chest on this side here. And inside's a hundred of each sepith. Really? There we go. <laughs> I 
Well, it would have been nicer earlier in the game. I don't have as much use for all that uh, Sepeth now. But I'm sure it'll come in useful in a pinch. In case I need more evade ports or action ports or whatever. Hmm, I kind of thought... able to uh, kill this in one go, but it uh, seems like it has more health than that. You know, just land a death blow on it, and that works too. Alrighty then. Next thing we want to do is pick up this thing here. It's the last moon truffle we needed. This looks like a moon truffle. Yeah, no doubt about it. I never thought we'd find one down here. Let's take it. Received a moon truffle. And that should be three. <laughs> okay, next we want to hit this lever. Gives us a shortcut. And we'll hit this guy as well. <laughs> well... If you ask the ladies, they know I'm very good at finishing quickly. Wait. Well, that was quick. You wanna grab this treasure chest though? Because it's a passionate rouge. Which is actually an incredibly useful accessory. I've already got one on Ash though. Actually, I don't think I need one. I mean, it is a useful accessory, but for the time being, None of my party members really makes good use out of it, so... It's better save for, like, one of the old members of Class 7 once I get them. Well, let's see what's in the, uh... That's a creepy big fish to be in the, uh, in the sewers here. That's the second last fish I need. What is that? It's a phantom shark. Creepy. Gives us 24 of each sepith. <laughs> it sure is. I don't want to fight you guys. And in this quartz is Hell's Bells. Well, Hell Bell. Uh, I technically have zero arts turn, but it's not like I have great arts on Reen. <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> I bet Kenneth would use a fish as a weapon if he was a playable character in this game.
and I should be able to whittle this down. Get all my brave points back. some good levels. We got Yuna and Altina to level 4 together. Anyway. There's quite a lot more to this area, so... Avoid the demons here. And there's a recovery device here. Which means I'm going to make a quick save. After all, we don't know what could be lurking on the other side of that. rest up. <laughs> yeah, for a Trails game, it's actually uh, quite large. Normally they save this kind of stuff for the last dungeons of the game. <sighs> Wait a minute, that's... Oh jeez, that is a lot of flowers. Red Pleroma flowers? Like the ones in La Mer. What's going on? Talk later. It's coming. A, a giant doll? That's a magic knight. It's a heavy type, like the ones we fought on the Geo front. Uh, no, I've never seen this type before. Class 7, prepare for combat. Leave it to me. Analyzing situation. Yikes. Well, they gave me a zero arts turn, but I don't have any use for it. All we can do is uh, wail on it and see if that's enough. Yeah, especially for just like these little ones. Uh, charging its laser. Alright, now that we got it delayed... Well, I shouldn't have wasted my time breaking it if I was going to do that, but whatever. This is fine. Especially if I can actually pull off attack delay on it.
It's an interesting boss design, but it looks like I'm going to take care of this one pretty easily. Of course, that's making sure I don't give it a turn. Otherwise, this might go bad. Because in pretty much every Magic Knight fight, you can't give them an inch. You do that, and you're basically hooped. And luckily for me, I had enough damage to pull through. It took me three minutes. Yep, the true way to the true cold steel experience. <laughs> we did it somehow. Yeah, we managed to take it out. So the pleroma flowers were likely the cause. But why are they even in the capital? Well, they were in La Mer too, so it's not that unexpected. They're just normal flowers, aren't they? Let's just pluck them. Right, let's split up and pull them out. Roger that. So, it should be alright now. There's still plenty of questions, though. Well, in any case, let's head back to the race course for now. We can report in on the flowers when we get back to the training ground. Right, understood. <sighs> There's still a lot going on we don't know about, but I guess we have to keep going. Quest complete. And we got 5,000 Mira. Not a bad haul. But, uh, we can't just fast travel back, so... I'm gonna make a save just in case anything goes wrong here. Can't be too careful, after all. Yeah, I gotta say, I really like the purple hair on Muse, to the point where I kind of wish it was actually just her main hair color. I mean, the green's fine, but, uh, like, the color here really suits her. Huh? Uh, what's going on? I hear footsteps. It's two, maybe three people. Yeah, good ear. And they're running without hesitation despite the echo. They might be even higher level than the uh, Magic Knight. Right, let's intercept them here. Altina, get them from behind. Roger that, activating stealth mode. Jaegers. Hit on the Council, Food Agency, and the Imperial Times. Right. It was a good collaboration. In any case, we have to determine their X day. Surprise, bitches. Stop right there. Who the hell are you? A, a doll? Is that a combat shell? These must be the military academy students from the reports. You know about us? They even have details on Clom Soleil. Would we expect anything less? I don't know if we're lucky or unlucky here. To think we'd run into the famous Ashen Chevalier. And you're the famous Republic Special Forces, Hercules. Drop your weapons now. Six on three. These aren't good odds. Not to mention the Ashen Chevalier and his students look strong. How do we play this one out? Why are they so calm? They seem extremely strong. 
we should consider them a larger threat than the Magic Knight. And I feel like they're hiding some sort of trump. <laughs> a breakdown of negotiations, then. Don't think too badly of us. Prepare for battle. Assume they're even stronger than the last one. Right. I see. This might be difficult. A military academy that actually fights in wars. I might pitch this when we get back. <laughs> you guys won't be calm for long. Perhaps you should have returned home already then. Oh, once we reach our objective, we'll all head home. And until then, we won't rest. Here they come. Ready, everyone. All right. Let's see what they've got. Well, at least they're not trying to target Kurt like a bunch of idiots. So they have that going for them at least. Doesn't look like I can delay them either. Yeah, these guys seem like standard soldier mobs. I'm not sensing anything impressive from them. But, uh, we'll see if they have any tricks up their sleeves. Well, that's one down. And I've caught the rest of them under, uh... Pretty much all the stun locks you can imagine. So... If they did have some tricks, they're not gonna show them off anytime soon. Yep. And just like that... We're done. So much for being stronger than the Magic Knight. I guess in terms of damage dealt, <laughs> they did about the same amount. <laughs> Otherwise... They're strong! I think they'd be a match for the RMP. And they fight differently from what I've seen before. We heard about this from the Intelligence Division. It's a fifth generation tactical orbit under secret development in Calvard. The fifth generation? That's the same as the Arcus 2. I see. They must have a feature similar to combat links. Yeah, and I have a feeling we haven't seen its full potential yet. Of course not. We didn't get to see them do anything. Huh. What reliable students you have. Well, as a tribute to your skill, we'll reveal its name. The official name of the new model is Lambda. I know it says Ramda, but that's that's dumb. It sh it should probably be Lambda. What? Ah, they're running. No, wait. Ah, we won't let you. Huh? W what? It's temporal. No, spatial projection? Shh. What the hell? What's going on? Talk later. We need to pursue them. Roger that. Objective set. Well, I guess we're not heading back to the race course anytime soon. We need to go hunt down Hercules. 
where did they go? It's a dead end here. They're gone? That feature again? No, I don't sense them anywhere nearby. So we'll just have to assume. Either they teleported, or there's a hidden passage here. A teleportation function? It's like the society uses. If that's the case, they're way out of our league. This is an old rune, though. There might be a passageway somewhere. Yeah, but we need a hint. They've already disguised their footprints in the short time since we've seen them. In that case, perhaps they didn't escape using a transportation function. Right, they wouldn't have time to double back, which means... They must still be here somewhere! We're running out of time here. Oh, you guys look like you're in trouble. Huh? What the hell is Rose doing here? I think it's more that they can uh, project after images of themselves and then kind of just disappear at will. I don't know. I don't exactly know what they're getting at here. Uh, who are you? You're... So everyone can see her now. So we meet again. I haven't seen you since Byronia Island. What? You met this cr cute girl? Well, I showed myself to him. Green Schwarzer, you finally made it to the capital. And in these circumstances, bad luck just seems to follow you. I'm still not clear on who you are. Unfortunately, we really don't have time to talk right now. Huh, how boring. And here I was just about to give you a hint to the hidden door. Well, I am generous, if nothing else. Let me show you the way to the path. Uh, that staff. The color is different, but... Apario. That's Latin for up here. Magic? Yeah, Rose is pretty awesome. She's actually the leader of the Hexen clan from uh, what I've gleaned. That's like what Emma and Celine use. What's that glowing spot? When did she... Was she a spirit? No, I don't think so. We'll discuss this later. We need to check this out. There's no time to waste. We need to see where it leads. Roger that. We have to hurry. So this is it. <laughs> You've only seen her for like 10 seconds. This is... It opened. Not sure how I feel about being helped by an occultish little girl. Instructor, let's go! Yeah, our opponents may have spread out. We need to pursue and catch them all. Roger that. Capture mission start. <laughs> Fair enough. Seems like a really long passageway. We'll take the fork here. And inside this treasure chest is a spirit incense. <laughs> we'll see. 
I mean, they've already got enough playable characters in this game. I think the count's at like 20 or something. Oh, we caught up fast. There they are! Everyone, capture them! Roger that! I'll cut them to pieces! Clown Soleil! Oh, that's no fair! They found the passage! We can't be caught! We have to hurry! Okay, the question is, can we actually catch these guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Game. Game, what are you doing? Game. No. Let me catch him. Let me catch you. Okay, we did it. I was worried for a second there, because it was just letting me clip through them instead of, like, actually catching them. Yeah, just a random chance to get extra AP there. Four PM. Oh. This is Oh. No, this is Himmel Cemetery. A graveyard? We're quite a ways away from the city. But more importantly, why are they here? Hmm. Oh. Class 1 beat us to the punch. Well, and Lecter, too. Captured three new model ornaments. Good work. I'll take those. Keep your affiliation and names to yourself. Under request, under international law, we request treatment as prisoners of war. How shameless. Well, you'll be interrogated by the Imperial Intelligence Division. As long as you do not resist or run, there will be no threat to your life. You guys are a bit slow. Hey, good work. No one's hurt? I see. You are very well prepared. After meeting you at the race course, you got all the way here. So, you used us to produce this result. Wait, so he planned for everything? Is that even possible? For the Scarecrow? Definitely. Oh no, it's just a coincidence, you guys. And now that we've finally detained the agents we've had such a hard time with up until now, that's the result of our cooperation. Uh, how so? Well, all you guys did was scare them out. But this is a suburb to the southwest of the city. It should have been your territory to cover. If you'd like, we can hand them over to you. Getting them out to this point is thanks to Class 7. Whoever ends up handing them over aside, 
We have to thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, no kidding. They wouldn't have been able to do this without the help of a witch. The important thing is they didn't escape. You're all fine with this, right? Yeah. No objections. Hmm. Well then, we're counting on you. Yeah, they just freaking knew it. They knew exactly where those tunnels would lead. Huh. I'm exhausted somehow. There's no need to feel upset. Our opponents were top-tier special forces. The fact that they were, we were able to pursue them is a huge feat. Good work, everyone. You're all really showing what Class 7 is capable of. Oh. <laughs> That's true. We did take down that Magic Knight as well. And after that fight, we fought the special forces. I do feel like we've gained another level. Eh, it wasn't bad. <sighs> I am so tired. Well, we fought and chased them with all our strength. Hey, you just rode on that doll of yours. So, where are we exactly? This is one of the cemeteries around the capital. This is the Himmel Cemetery. Huh? I'm surprised you knew. Even I wasn't sure. I've come to visit here several times. If you go down this hill, you'll end up on the road we traveled this morning. It's already past 4 p.m., so our, our activities are done for the day. Oh. <laughs> That's one day down. Hmm. So, Instructor, is somebody you know buried here? Do you mind if we visit their grave? If you don't mind, of course. Oh no! Oh no! Yes, this must be fate. If it's not a bother, I'd like to go too. I wouldn't normally, but we're already all the way here. I see. Well, the training ground isn't far, and we're going to return anyway. Um, Instructor Reen, could the person buried here be... It's on the northeast side. Let's go. Well, we got a couple of things to do first. First of all is uh, calling Rosine because we found some black records. And there is a overlook point of the capital. We want to. We want to get a photo for Vivi. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh. Wow. You can see the whole city from here. Seeing it like this really shows how big it is. Yeah. It's hard to believe 880,000 people live here. It is pretty crazy. Yeah. But what a spectacular view. What a place to see the whole city. I bet Vivi would love this. So let's uh, immediately talk to Vivi here. And uh, now that that's over with, let's go and visit Crow's grave. Which should be dug up. But it doesn't look like it. Interesting. Crow Armbrust. Septian year 1184 to Septian year 1204. 
good friend for Jesus' sake forbear to dig in the dust and knead here, blessing the men who spare these stones, but curse to that knows my bones. Oh, curse to that who moves my bones. Pretty sure I've seen that rhyme somewhere before. But, you know, not in this game. Like, back in religious studies. During the Civil War. I see. It was him. Yeah, no worries, man. I'm not even sure if I'll be streaming in 40 minutes, but we'll see how this goes. This was your friend when you were in class 7, right, instructor? Yeah. Crow Armbrust. He was instructor Toa's classmate. Although I didn't know him very long, we trained together and prepared for the festival together after I entered class 7. He was frivolous, he got carried away easily, but he became so dependable. He was a great friend. During the Civil War, we were on opposite sides, though. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. Let's just drop the senpai thing going forward. My true identity is C. Crow Armbrust, the student? It's just a fake. All right, let's get started. I'm not gonna let anyone interfere. This is our final battle. Through the correspondence of the noble faction, I learned about him to some extent. <laughs> wow, you're, you're really into her. He was the Azure Chevalier, the leader of the terrorist group called the Imperial Liberation Front. I did hear about that during the Civil War. He overwhelmed many as the Azure Chevalier in his Divine Knight. Yeah, but in the very end, he came back to Class 7. The Crown Prince was captured, and the disaster from 250 years ago was relived. Along with me, the Ashen and Azure Chevalier, Along with the power of Class 7, we managed to stop the Calamity and rescue the Prince. During that fight, in order to open the way for me, he sacrificed himself. And when it was all done, he suffered a fatal wound. He was encouraging of us up until the very end. And that was when I left Valimar at Thor's, and decided to take on missions for the government. The others graduated a year later, and found the things that each of them could do. <laughs> In these turbulent times, we decided that we would reunite as Class 7 once more, to share our answers with everyone. I think that's the first time I've heard the whole story. I did think something had happened to you all in Class 7, but... I thought the special support section was the only group that got pushed hard like that. But you and your friends face the same thing, Instructor. <laughs> You're a little too naive. And a bit too quick to the punch. It's so bright that it's blinding. <laughs> well, this is something the former Class 7 decided one year ago. I believe that a time will come where you'll find your own distinctive path forward. So until you reach that point, I'll be here for you. Just like the former Class 7, and the instructors were there for me. 
Oh. Yes, we'll be counting on you. I can feel your strength. Thank you for continuing to support us. There are a lot of things I don't know about myself yet, but... Even so, during these past three months, I've learned what it means to feel. My feelings for you aside, Instructor. I believe that my joining Class 7 was a true blessing. Well, I'll keep going along with you as much as I can. After all, I want to surpass you one day. What's wrong, Yuna? No. There's something like a string buried here. What? Did somebody drop it? Maybe we can hand it over to the people who work here. What a nice brooch. Huh? What's wrong? Wait, what? Huh? What's wrong? Do you recognize it? I know what that is. Hey, didn't that crazy senpai from before wear that? Let me borrow that. <laughs> they found out. It belongs to Angelica. No doubt about it. She came here after we split up from her last month. And then she dropped it? Hey, I was a bit worried about something, but I didn't say anything. Don't you think the ground near that grave looks strange? Hey, he's right. It looks like it's been dug up recently. Wait a minute. Then that means... <sighs> Toa, are you at the training ground right now? I need to talk to you and the principal and major right away. Oh, they know. They know that Angelica got killed. <laughs> they even uh, changed the uh, loading screen because normally it has the blue backdrop, but it's blood red now. That's interesting. 6 p.m. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. <laughs> that reveal. Well, they know... They know the truth now. This has become a major clue. Wait, was the grave empty? Yes. That is the fact of the matter. There wasn't anything there at all. No remains, no cloth wrapping. Just an empty grave. Uh, no way! How could this... Oh, goddess, forgive me! You're certain Crow Armbrust was buried here, right? Is there a chance there was a mistake? No. All of us in Class 7 saw it with our own eyes. It was a week after the end of the Civil War, so it's been a whole year already. 
the Azure Ch Chevalier. I encountered him in the noble faction several times. He was being used by Duke Cayenne, so I thought he was a bad person. And what of the lost article from Rockner? We don't know for sure that something happened. No, but we should inform the Marquis and spread the word. There is no smell coming from this hole, after all. Herschel, Schwarzer, you said you saw the burial. Was his body real? I see. So it was like a puppet. In fact, there's an old man in the society who can make human-like puppets. In principle, it's not impossible. You'd have to reproduce the skeletons, muscles, and so forth. So it does call into question whether the Azure Chevalier actually died. He is. I, I saw him with my own eyes. So did I. After the castle disappeared, though. So then, in the meantime, the body must have been replaced. Or perhaps he was revived somehow, like the Saint or the Jaeger King. N no way! Hey, that's not even funny. Aren't you being unrealistic? Major Michael, can I ask you one thing? Is the Azure Knight definitely in the army's custody? It should have been captured after the war. Oh. We're too late. The spy situation from the Empire aside, there's also the matter of the safety of the Rogner girl. Please, make the necessary inquiries. Understood. I will check with Gorelia Fortress about the Divine Knight. And we've already contacted everyone about the Marquis's daughter. As well as a trainee in the Ruhr Polytechnic Institute, George Nome. Right. I don't remember... Oh. No, I do remember the guy. <laughs> I'm afraid to say I do remember that episode of uh, ReZero. Hmm. So, we can't get a hold of George either? Right, starting at about the same time as Angie. Were they kidnapped together, or... Mm, let us not guess about the situation. You all have other tasks to focus on. Well, that's right. Class 7 encountered the Pleroma Flowers and another knight from the Middle Ages. Followed by members of the Republic, part of Hercules. And you said a mysterious blonde girl showed up as well. We can leave her aside for now. But the Pleroma Flowers and the Magic Knight are concerning, not to mention those forces. That's right, and the intelligence suggests there could be a hundred of them. They were quite strong, too. Yes, they were using a special orbit model called Lambda. We might not have been able to evaluate their full strength, either. Arundel did call the Lambda units a black box, and they can't be analyzed. It's possible they're customized for each individual user. <laughs> Talk about a pain. Oh, interesting. Get me a sample of that. I'd like to see the latest technology of the Vern Company with my own eyes. Uh, well, it might not be that easy, but... In any case, the Solstice Festival, be the Solstice Festival begins the day after tomorrow. As we mentioned earlier, we may be instructed to capture and neutralize the threat from the Republic agents. This was not a request from the royal family, but from Chancellor Osborne himself. <sighs> the Blood and Iron Chancellor. But there's also a party the day after tomorrow. In response to this quest, 
this request, the Intelligence Division, the Railway Military Police, and the Military have all strengthened their patrols. And the Bracer Guild and the main branch of Thors are moving in earnest now, too. We need to better understand their movements underground. We might not be able to catch them if they continue to make use of hidden passages. So tomorrow at 4pm, if they're not captured by then, the government will order martial law. The 4th Armored Division is waiting on standby at the army base for that purpose. Martial law? Are you kidding me? W what? They're going that far? The citizens will be in an uproar. Yes, but it is reasonable. Interesting. I was invited to the celebration as well. I wouldn't mind getting a souvenir from the capital. Orlando, Herschel, divide the tactical and accounting divisions into two. Make two teams total, mixed from both classes. Orlando and I will lead one team each and flush them out of the Western Underground. We will eradicate the flowers and the intruders alike. What are you saying all of a sudden? This is a top tier special forces and you're planning to just eradicate them? Oh, it's just a figure of speech. But it might be a good idea to have you on the mission, Principal. Herschel and I will be able will be available for contact and backup. I'll prepare a communication wave amplifier just in case. If it all goes well, you'll be able to communicate underground where you normally wouldn't be able to. We can also use that to make contact with the main school and the Bracer Guild. You can do all that? I see. George did something similar two years ago. That was my invention after all. He just improved on it. What a strange coincidence. I just brought it with me on a hunch. If you had something like that, you should have told us earlier. Understood. So that's our plan then. I'm worried about the students, but as long as you two are with them, it should be fine. Cooperation with the main school and the guild is essential as well. So, Class 7 will... No. I need you to continue supporting the city itself. By continuing the special activities like you did today, we might learn something else. I am hoping you identify some promising horizontal links. Oh. <laughs> of course. Oh, isn't it time for your meeting, Reen? <sighs> Sorry, I have to get going. Well, this should serve as part of our information exchange as well. Don't stay out too late, though. <laughs> it's your kid's grand reunion. I don't think there's much chance you won't stay out at least a little late. <laughs> you must be so excited, Reen. <laughs> it's entirely possible, Necro. Yeah, but aren't, don't you want to come too, Toa? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm passing. I need to get prepared for tomorrow, and I need to contact the Marquis too. Understood. I'll consult with everyone about that, too. Please do. Say hi to everyone for me. Well then, be safe. I need to be at the Guild Branch on Vesta Street by 7 o'clock. If I go by bike, I should be able to make it. Once I'm prepared, let's go. Well, I'm not quite prepared yet. Because I need to make another save. Man, I'm at 80 hours already. That's kind of ridiculous. I definitely didn't spend that long on either Trails 1 or Trails 2. Thing is, though, I should be able to turn in a quest. Let me just make absolutely sure. 
Yeah, no, it's not like I need to do anything else, so... Where is Sandy? Oh, she's in her room. This is one of these things I wish was uh, translated properly. But, you know, what can you do, right? Oh, never mind, it won't let me hand in the quest. It won't let me hand in the quest because I don't have the rest of Class 7 with me. Okay. Anyway, I found 175 enemies, so Valerie had something for me. And I found enough books, so Tatiana has something for me as well. Anyway. Now I can head on off to the uh, guild branch here. The meeting's at 7. Should I get going? Instructor Reen! <laughs> um, stay safe, okay? Say hi to the former Class 7 for us. Aw, I'm jealous. You've been waiting for this for a while, haven't you? Um, please have fun. On your way back, be sure to make sure you slip away with your girl and have some fun for once. Hey, what? I think he'll just be consumed with passion as soon as he sees her. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, Instructor? No, no, I won't. Don't worry about it. I'm going to be head off now. Tomorrow's going to be a hard day, too. So eat well and get some rest. Understood. Alright, get going already. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Ash knows he wants to boogie down. <laughs> well, this is one way to do a loading screen. Heimdall definitely has a different feel to it at night. Might just be because you can really enjoy the skybox from that angle. Six fifty. you. Huh. The guild branch is up there on the left. I wonder if everyone's already here. Oops, this isn't the right place. Where am I going? Yes, they have the guild in the bakery.
No, it's actually up here. Oh! That's the guild's crest. I wonder if they're back for real. I sense a lot of people here too. <laughs> anyway, we want to just barge right in. Hey, he's here! Come in! Excuse me. <laughs> yep, undercover meeting in the bakery. That's, uh... That's my business. Look at all these familiar faces. You're finally here, Reen. Oh. Sorry. Guess I'm the last one, huh? Nah, you're right on time. You're training. I don't blame you. You're a working member of society. You should try to be ten minutes early. Huh. From someone who came just five minutes early? But I'm so glad the guild branch was finally opened. That's true. The restaurants and such are all full. It's really nice to all gather together again like this. That's true. Even though we all have so much going on right now. That's true. We all have so much to talk about. Oh, brother. Oh, don't overdo it, you kids. It's your final reunion after one year. Go ahead and jump into each other's arms. The girls can with each other, and the boys too. We will not! <laughs> oh, come on, Sharon. It's just like back then. That's true. Almost surprisingly so. We've all found new places, but we're all still the same. Well, things turned out pretty well for all of us. <laughs> Way to be so blunt about it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh no. So cute. Guys, what are you doing? Buddy. Machius is like, hey, can I get in on that? <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I can totally buy Reen and Elliot sharing a hug like that. Fee, you grew taller. Alisa, you're so pretty. And it looks like your boobs got even bigger, Emma. Hey, you don't need to talk about that. Huh. So you changed your hairstyle, huh? Hey, you did too. Reen, Gaius, you guys got so tall. I think this is about as tall as I can get, though. You're the same as ever. Oh, come on. I grew one whole rage. Aww. We were able to keep our promise. Yeah. Alisa. Everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> what are you saying now? We didn't all gather here for you, you know. Machias, your Sundare is showing. But this is also Reen's graduation celebration. Right. He stayed behind. 
and kept the spirit of Class 7 alive. And even after that, he started raising a new Class 7. In that sense, you really are our center. Thank you, Reen. Everyone. <laughs> this is pretty awkward. Oh, seriously. Every time these kids are together. Well, at least let them have that for today. <laughs> A feast is prepared for everyone in the room inside. There's alcohol, so everyone who's old enough can enjoy it. Sharon's cooking! I've really missed it. I was wondering what that smell was. Then I'll have a beer! You will not! <laughs> oh, Milliam. <laughs> I just have to say good luck, Necro. I hope your figurine collection grows splendidly. And so they all shared stories and enjoyed Sharon's delicious cooking. The adults had alcohol while the others had soda. They all reminisced as they looked at Toa's picture album. And afterwards... nine thirty. Sorry about that. Please excuse me, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Sharon, thank you so much. It was so good. Hey, let's meet up to share a drink soon. I'll see you soon, okay? I heard that your mother's arriving in the capital now, Elisa. Yes, with my grandfather, on the last flight from Ruer. They're both invited to that party the day after tomorrow. I don't think we'll be invited, though. It seems like everyone's had a lot going on. Yeah, that's probably true. Seriously, how could everything be so connected? Oh, by the way, did we check for any spy equipment in the guild? Sure did, but nothing turned up. So, there were various spy systems found throughout the city this afternoon. Right, mostly in government-related facilities. And in the Imperial Chronicle building, too. So we might as well get started on those lines, then. Right. On to the main topic at hand. One years ago, we graduated Thors with special exceptions. Then we all made a promise that we swore we'd keep within the year. Ooh, man. Yeah. So burpy when I talk. Yeah, it feels like so long ago. Our goal was to figure out how Class 7 will work towards the future of the Empire. That's what you said at the very end, Yusis. Right. The night after we had to overcome the trials in the Reverie Corridor. I really had no idea what to say at first. Right. But we all had a certain feeling. That day where we lost Crow, and what we heard in the palace. Right from Chancellor Osborne and Governor Rufus. Where those two are trying to take the Empire. And that phantasmal blaze plan that he took from the society. What's going to happen to the outer world and what's going to happen to the hidden world as well? That's right. All those fears are becoming a reality. And incidents have started since the spring, all across the world. In the outward world, various political situations have developed. 
Yeah, the society's really dangerous. Right. Calvard got scared based on their involvement in the Northern Campaign. And the Imperial government and the military's movements have been suspect as well. That's true. They built 12 new railway guns. Including four that brought, have been brought to Crossbell already. So they took those huge things out of the valley? Yep, the new ones were towed out with a battle airship. The new 250-Arge Gargantuan class. I heard about that. And what's more, several of those types have been built. I did hear a lot about that through my audits. It seems that all of the Mira, people, and information are heading in one single direction. Right. The Eight Imperial Cities concept. The tax systems are being unified across the Empire, leading to an unprecedented military expenditure. And that's already happening. Yeah, it sounds like it all points towards one thing. An invasion of Calvard. That's the clear goal in mind. Right. And the movements of the Republic forces back that up. So then, their true aim is not terrorism, but information gathering. Right. If they attacked first, it'd be a declaration of war. They're trying to figure out when the X day is, when that war will begin. So it is true. I've heard rumors to that effect on my tours. And of course, the Reinford group and my mother must know as well. As they are providing the armaments, airships, as well as the soldats and railway guns. There's no way they take the, those orders without knowing the reason. And they built a big factory in Crossbell too. And so the question is, is this all a just cause? A war between great powers should be a tremendous burden to both. Even if the Empire and Republic have been enemies for so long, will it really come to this? International trade and the economy will plummet. Neighboring countries will be forced to join in. And a declaration of war would need to be approved by the Emperor. I just don't think he'd find enough cause to approve that. Yes, but don't forget, Crossbell and North Ambria were annexed without appro- Sorry, were annexed with approval. Both campaigns were meticulously crafted, and there was almost no public outcry. And the man who made that all possible was the Chancellor, Giliath Osborne. As his real son, I n probably know the danger he poses best. Reen. Don't take it all on yourself. My brother, Rufus Alborea, is a threat as well. As one of the Ironbloods, he can't be underestimated either. It seems that the plans for invasion and war have all been authored. Yeah, that seems likely. And not just me, but even Claire and Lecter have not been told a lot of things by Gramps. Well, there's only one way this escalation can go, and that's straight through the roof. And then, there's the question of what the Black Workshop is doing. That's right. The forces that were pulling the strings behind the Civil War. Black Rabbit and my older brother, they were lent to the Noble Faction. If the invasion is in the Outward World, then that story is of the Underworld. And it seems those two are more interlocked than ever. I think at this point there's no doubt the identity of the Black Workshop are the gnomes, who were fought by, by the Witch Clans for years. Currently the Society is in control, and I think they have some ties to Chancellor Osborne as well. Their current representative is that man wearing the mask, right? The Azure Siegfried, right? I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw him. Not to mention the appearance of the Jaeger King and his shadowy Divine Knight. Including the Saint working with the Society? 
There's something brewing in the underworld. Right. The calamity from the underworld that caused the War of the Lions that also led to the incident in the palace. All of it connects to the very history of the Empire and the truth of, of the Divine Knights. I learned more about this by chasing after my sister. Currently, the Septian veins in the Empire are starting to revitalize. Just like they were one year ago, and 250 years ago as well. And they've been accelerating since the annexation of Crossbell in North Ambria. Those cryptids, magic knights, and even the Pleroma flowers are all just symptoms. So it is true. So the outer and inner worlds are truly connected. This lies Clotilde, Chancellor Osborne, the Society of Ouroboros, and the Black Workshop. Oh, if only my memories weren't erased. We homunculi have a strong connection to the underworld, it seems. Now that you mention it. You said you were made by the Black Workshop, weren't you, Milliam? Yeah, strictly speaking, a homunculus is a human being. Although, I don't think I'll grow any taller than this, and I'm not sure how long I have to live. I see. I heard a little about this. The Black Workshop's pretty unforgivable. Well, putting Millie and Altina's birth aside. Playing with life like that is unforgivable, though. Yeah, but I've been feeling it myself lately. I'm not really worried about it, but I'm worried about Achan. I see. <laughs> You're really something else, Milliam. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I got some information from the branch school. Should we switch to that topic? Yes, it's about the grave site. Yeah, the intelligence division is looking into that too. Huh? Did something happen? Yes. Everyone, I ask you to remain calm as you hear this. Reen explained the events that happened today. Including what had happened at Crow's gravesite. You're lying, right? You found Angelica's brooch? So, based on that, it must have been related to the Black Workshop, too. Well, there's plenty of cases of people dying who've come back to life. And in all those cases, the Black Workshop, or the Gnomes, have been involved. See you soon, Necro. Are you saying that the, the Jaeger King and the Masked Man were revived by the workshop somehow? Emma, is such a thing even possible? Resurrection is a forbidden technique in the world of magic. There were reported attempts of them during the Middle Ages, but all of them failed. In most cases, what resulted was a Nosferatu, something like a demon. Huh, I feel like I've heard that name before. We encountered those in the Lohengrin Castle, did we not? Those monsters. In that sense, Something else must have happened in the case of the Jaeger King, or the Masked Man. Although, it is possible that the gnomes somehow completed that ancient technology on their own. Even so, the Goddess will not easily allow resurrection. I see. My head hurt just hurts thinking about all of this. Anyway, it seems like the situation is progressing in multiple ways. And now Angelica and George are both missing, too? The guild's already working to find any trace of them. We'll let Toa know if we find anything. Got it. We covered a lot today. It feels like slowly but surely, we can come to the truth behind it. 
Right. We just need to investigate each place one by one. As part of our Class 7 policy... There are two things we can say for certain. We need to find a way to halt the tendency towards war on the surface. And simultaneously, stop the calamity brewing in the hidden world as well. That's right. A lot of things are confounded, but those two things are definite. These are things we can all accomplish after going our own ways. That's right. If we join our strength and move forward together, then for sure... And then no challenge awaits us we can't overcome. That's true. On the surface, or in the hidden world. We might not have many allies, but we certainly have some. That's true. We can gather forces from all over. Milliam, are you okay with all this? You are almost certainly going to end up directly facing your role as a member of the Ironbloods. That's true. Cryptids and Magic Knights aside, I want you to think this over and tell us your true intentions, Milliam. Huh? You're just asking me about this now? Huh? Milliam? I don't have any memories from before five years ago. Like I said before, I've been able to think long and hard. What exactly am I? What does it feel like to be sad? Two years ago, I learned about all that from you guys. Oh. Huh. I want to learn about myself. In order to keep being your friend. I do like Gramps, Claire, and Lecter. But I can't stay still like this. Not knowing about the Black Workshop that made me? And so, I'll prioritize my role as a member of Class 7, even if it puts me up against Gramps. More than the Black Workshop product Oz-73, more than the White Rabbit of the Ironbloods, or a member of the Intelligence Division. Reen, Eusis, Elisa, Emma, V, Elliot, Machius, Gaius, Sarah. You were the ones who comforted me when I cried for the first time. I'm still your dear companion. Milliam. I see. Oh. You're just so... This is sadder than I thought. So you've thought about us like that? Even though you haven't grown an inch, you've really grown inside. That's right. More than any of us, maybe. Then let us drop any concern. That's right. It's about time. Jeez, you guys are something else. So you've decided on your policy going forward. And your doubts seem to be gone. So then, what do you all plan to do tomorrow? I have to continue our training with the new Class 7. We need to understand the extent of the Republic troops and what they're planning. Yes, I agree. If it goes badly and they get away, this may be used as an excuse for war. Yeah, like when those Jaegers burned Keldic as an excuse. I plan to continue touring around the city, gathering clues. I'll come along with you. I'll be working with my grandfather. I think I can gather some good information. Selene and I will continue to understand the spiritual movements in the city. 
So then, if we find anything out, we can contact each other? Yeah. Let's contact each other and be prepared to mobilize. Understood. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Huh? You've all become so reliable. It's getting late already. Let's end this discussion here. Let's confirm by using the Arcus 2 how we'll all plan to act tomorrow. Does that sound good? Yeah, that works. We better get a good night's sleep. Sarah, V, are you staying here tonight? Yeah. There's some beds on the second floor. I'll be going home. How about you, Elliot? Yeah, I contacted Sis, and she said Gaia should stay with me. I apologize for the intrusion, but I'll gladly accept your hospitality. But Gaius, we didn't get a chance to hear your story. Oh yeah, that's right! Why couldn't you contact us these past six months? It sounds like you were out of the country. Yeah. But all that will take a while to explain, so we'll leave it for next time. I'm sure we'll be meeting again like this soon. <laughs> That's true. Damn it, guys, stop being cryptic. You aren't Emma. Oh, then maybe I have to get it out of you myself. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, Reen. About that blonde girl you mentioned. Oh, yeah. I had been wondering about that. She looked about 10 years old? Could she have been a witch apprentice? Um, well, that's kind of correct, but also very wrong. She went missing, so we were both looking for her. Seriously, her and Vita both running off without contacting anyone? Well, I'm sure she'll introduce herself properly to you all soon. I'm really curious now. <laughs> Got it. Well, I guess I'll just look forward to next time. <coughs> oh no. Gameplay recording blocked because you entered... Or paused because you entered a blocked scene. That's kind of lame. But I know now that it's not going to, like, completely cut me off on the stream here. Meanwhile, everyone in Class 7 failed a spot check. Because crows just hang out on the roof. Are you concerned? No. Just feels nostalgic. I understand now what kind of person I was. The situation I lived in. I see. <laughs> Maybe asking too much to ask about it myself. question itself is meaningless. Give me the instructions from Alberic, Copper George. How does he plan to move me tomorrow? Understood, Crow. No. Azure Siegfried. I guess, uh, George Gnome is now being called Copper George. Or Copper J-Org. I'm not sure.
Because obviously, I guess they really didn't want that twist spoiled. Damn, it seems like we won't be able to take back Reno and the others. It's alright, there's no chance they'll leak any information. We got good results at the Imperial Bank as well, and we were able to make a clean getaway. Tomorrow it sounds like they have some big sweeping strategy. Right, they're going to declare martial law and bring out the 4th Armored Division. As long as we have our Lambda units, we should barely make it. We need to make sure we don't miss the time to withdraw. <laughs> oh dear. You guys entered the wrong neighborhood. What's this? Is this a graveyard from the Dark Ages under the city? A red flower? Huh? What's going on? What is this? Well, there's definitely Nosferatu's down here. Uh, enemy spirits? Activate your Lambda units. We can push through. Uh, not if you're surrounded. Uh, this is... Ah! Uh, well, basically, Class 7 formulated their plan. Uh, George basically confirmed that Crow is Azure Siegfried. And, uh, Rose is hanging out down here. What a bunch of fools. Oh, yeah, and some Republic uh, soldiers got eaten by, uh, Nosferatu's. Oh, it's no good. I won't make it in time. If... If only that prodigy was with me, we would have been able to do it. The gnomes and the serpent. How many bodies do you have? Are you all creating a family? The day Leanne spoke of is close. Before that day comes... We need to settle the debt that was made 200 years ago. By my name is Vermilion Roselia, the true ancestor of death. <laughs> well, with a name like Vermilion Roselia, the true ancestor of death, I'm not sure she's going to be a playable character. Anyway, I missed some AP, so... I'm now 7 behind the maximum amount. And for my trouble... I got some armor. Not bad. And we got some things from Monk. And Rosine. And Vivi. So, this seems like a good point to stop for the day. I could keep going, but I do have to be up early in the morning, so... I'm gonna have to call an episode here. Uh, thanks for coming out today, Necro. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know... If you're having a good day, I hope your day got even better. <laughs> well, they uh, tastefully faded to black before the uh, Nosferatu's uh, picked them apart. So, yeah, you'll have that to look forward to when I upload this to YouTube. Eventually. See you next time.